Hello, welcome to Life with Lani and Dylan. This is our second episode and we are super duper excited to share with you guys today. Yeah, so today we're going to be talking about singleness. We just want to share some things that um, we experienced in our singleness and um, some things that we did in our singleness mm -hmm. to help ourselves become better people. Uh, but I did things to prepare myself um, for relationships. And that's not even just like relationships between like myself and my future wife, but just relationships in general. So for those of you who watched our first video that we released last week, we spoke about our first year of marriage. Um, but obviously prior to that, we weren't married and even prior before dating, well, we weren't dating either. So there was... Oh. It's true. It's true. Before we were dating, Shut we were up. not dating. So what were we doing before then? Well, we're going to share that with you guys today. For me, before Lani and I started dating, um, I was in a relationship um, with someone else about two years before that um, and that ended and whatnot. So that was kind of a massive um, turning point in my life, um, I suppose, because um, it hit me pretty hard, not gonna lie. Um, like I was pretty devastated by it and I literally had to learn first of all how to deal with that and what happened. Um, so I was not ready for another relationship. I just wanted to focus really on myself and kind of be like, okay, how do I get myself through this? So one thing that I, I honestly did was every time I thought about um, that, that person, I had to pray. I had to like go, God, I need to put this in your hands and I have to trust in you because I was, I was struggling. But I literally spent the next two years, I suppose, um, building and developing myself. And, and after pretty much a year, um, I was kind of back good with myself again. Um, and then I was thinking, okay, okay, I'm probably almost ready for a relationship, but I want to do things better this time. Uh, so what I did was I started to focus on um, not trying to find Mrs. Wright, but I started to focus on being Mr. Wright. I started reading books um, about relationships and stuff like that. I read a book called Swipe Right, which is an amazing book by Levi Lusco. Um, talks all about relationships and past relationships, how to help deal with them, how to move forward through them, um, and that type of thing. I also started watching Relationship Goals by Michael Todd. Pastor Michael Todd, um, which is an amazing, another amazing um, series he does. He talks all about relationships in all different areas. Um, and yeah, I just really wanted to, in my singleness, I wanted to focus on me. Um, and I think that can be um, what can ruin people's singleness sometimes is they focus on how lonely they are and how, how, how much they're lacking instead of focusing on, hey, like this is a perfect opportunity for me to be a little bit selfish and focus on developing and building me uh, because relationships take time. Um, and, and some things I honestly believe that it is a lot easier to, to fix things in your own life when you're single than when you're in a relationship. Because in a relationship, it's not just about you anymore. You also have to worry about the other person and think about the other person and how they're gonna feel when you're going through these certain things. And I just started to build and develop myself and allow God to start to build and develop me and change my life to become just a better person in general, really. So this man here was my first boyfriend. My first yeah, and is. only boyfriend. Whoop, whoop. Forever. And ever. <laughs> And yeah, you know, for me, growing up, I was a little bit of a diva. I had a new crush every single month. Just ask my sister, it was pretty bad. And then I got into high school and I made a decision then that I wasn't going to worry about boys. I wasn't gonna worry about relationships. That's not to say that I didn't have crushes. I did, I just chose not to pursue them or to really give it much attention. When I went to uni, um, when I was a little bit older, that I guess the pressures um, of culture, um, pressures from within, pressures from, you know, around me, people I was hanging out with and, and family and friends and I guess kind of got to me a little bit and made me think that I needed to be in a relationship and when I moved to Bowen in 2016, it definitely intensified. Um, I was getting older and at that point where a lot of my friends were either in relationships like dating or some were even getting married and so I would look at myself and kind of think, is there something wrong with me? Like. Um, and you know, you'd go to gatherings and every kind of single male, you know, people try to set you up with. That was a little bit of a challenging time for me. And I think the turning point was where I realized it was really getting to me. And I decided, okay, well, I'm struggling on my own trying to figure this out. Um, I'm gonna go to God. And I did, I, I took it to God. and I really committed um, it in prayer and started reading. Um, you know, different books and went on YouTube a lot. One of the 
key things that stood out to me um, would have would have been the moment where I realized that I was a whole person. I didn't need another person to complete me. Um, and yes, that goes against a lot of what you will hear is that you need another person to complete you. But that's, in my opinion, a load of rubbish. Um, we are whole people. God didn't create half of Adam. He didn't create half of Eve. He created whole people. It just released that burden off my shoulders, really, and made me realize I didn't need another person to complete me. I was full in myself. And yeah. I, I don't know who, who it was, but someone mentioned that it's not another person that completes you. They compliment you. And I'd say yeah, that's so what good. Dylan has been in my life. He's definitely helped me, brought out the best in me. His strengths support my weaknesses and vice versa. But if Dylan was never in my life, or sadly, if Dylan was to pass away before me, it wouldn't make me any less of a person. Yeah. So I just want to encourage um, anyone out there, even if you're not single, this goes for single people and people in relationships, because yeah. this is a really dangerous mindset to have. That I say it because I lived it, um, mm. is that when you are waiting for someone to complete you, you'll never be truly content. You'll never be truly satisfied. Yeah. You'll either spend your whole life looking for someone, and if you don't, you're miserable. Mm. You will somewhat settle for someone just because you feel like that's what you're going to do to be complete or when you find a person to be with you're constantly just going to be annoyed and frustrated because you're wanting them to be something they can never be 2018 i would say is the first time in my life where i was content with being like fully content like i'd said in the past that i've been content but really like fully content with being single. And I remember saying to myself and saying to God, look, if I'm to be single for the rest of my life, I am okay with that. My life will be great. I can still fulfill the calling on that God has for my life. I can still have great relationships. And an interesting thing, <laughs> um, a few months later, ended up dating Dylan. So it's cool how God works things out. Hey? Kind of like how a motel gives you a complimentary gift. She got a complimentary man. <laughs> Like, I don't want to constantly be relying on Lani to be my everything. I don't want to put that pressure on her because then all of a sudden she feels like she has to just constantly give, give, give. And that's not what relationships are about. Relationships are about what can I give to you? Yeah. And if I'm a half a person and not a full person, I'm going to be the one constantly wanting to take. But that's not how relationships should be. Relationships should be, hey, what can I give you? How can I, how can I serve you? Lani does the same for me. It's not one person is giving more than the other but we're both giving equally and we're both receiving equally. And that's the importance of making sure that we're not two halves because mm -hmm. I don't want to ever burden my wife um, or my friends or whatever. I don't want to burden them with, hey, give me, give me, give me, give me. I want to be like, hey, let's, let's, let's bounce off each other. Let's give mm -hmm. each other, let's compliment yeah. each other. Hey, Dylan. You're really handsome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so some practical tips for those who are in their single season. This one probably aimed more at my women out there. Stop watching those soapy, sad, miserable romantic movies. Mm. They are lies, they are not true. I got myself caught up in those movies and at the end of it you feel so miserable, you hate your life and you would date anyone that calls you beautiful. Um, so stop watching that or if you're gonna watch it just don't watch it like all the time. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That would be my first tip. Uh, my second tip would be get around amazing people who are gonna uplift you, encourage you, um, and also not put pressure on you to, you know, get with someone. And the third, legit, this is probably the most important one, is to pray. Like I said, I was struggling with um, being single for a few years and the point where I humbled myself and said hey okay I can't do this on my own I need God to help me the moment I humbled myself and asked God to help me there was a shift it didn't happen straight away but there was a shift and God really did come through he's faithful <laughs> hey oh so for me, one tip I would have for you um, in your singleness is to make sure that you have a mentor or make sure you have someone that you talk to, that you trust, um, someone that will speak honest um, and someone that you allow to speak into your life. Um, mm. For me, I actually liked Lani for a whole year before I even asked her out, um, but I, actually, I, I didn't even have an intent to date her though mm. because I didn't want to mess things up. Um, the My first relationship probably went a bit too quick um, and I just 
dove all in uh, because I didn't have people that I talked to about it. I didn't ask people, hey, do you think this is a good idea, a bad idea or whatnot. So um, as soon as I started to like Lani, uh, this time I went and talked straight to my mentors and I was like, hey, um, I like her. Um, can you please tell me if I'm being stupid um, when I'm like talking with her or anything like that? Like I was just straight out honest. I'm like, hey, help me out here because um, last time it didn't go too well and I need your help. Um, so I really wanted to focus on doing the right thing um, this time and I'm glad I did because now I married her uh, and it worked out well and she is the most amazing woman in the whole entire world. So I actually watched her, I'm not like in a weird way, but I just seen how she would respond to people. Um, so like when we'd go out for lunch and stuff like that, I watched how she would respond and, and how she um, interacted with like waiters and stuff like that. Um, I watched if she cleaned up after herself um, when we went to McDonald's and things like that. I, I, I checked all these little character things and I was like, I want to make sure of the type of person she was. Um, so yeah, in a, in a non-creepy way, I'm, I'm quite a, an observant person. And I was like, I don't want to date someone who treats like certain people differently. Yeah. So as you've heard, Dylan and I had very different journeys um, in our single season, but I think the key thing which has come out of what we've learned is about being content. Being content with who you are, being content in whatever season that you are in. Singleness is not a bad time, like we've been saying, like it's a, it's a, it's a perfect opportunity um, for you to grow and I think sometimes we just need to change the way we see it. Because yeah, sure, you can look at it and go, oh, I just want to be with someone or I, I just hate where I'm at right now. I, I want this or I want that. But I think that's the most important thing yeah. um, is that, hey, we be content with who we are. And we know like, you know what? I'm a whole person. I don't need someone else to fulfill me. I don't need someone else to complete me. Um, because us as Christians, we believe that that's God's role, yeah. that God is the one that fulfills us. Because we do sometimes, and a lot of people have, have um, I suppose, a hole in their heart where they feel like they need to fill it with something. And we start to go out and chase after these different things that never fully satisfy, whereas God can do that for you. Um, so that's what, as Christians, that's what we believe. We believe that God is, is our fulfillment, that God is the one that brings us joy, hope, peace, love. That, and that we just complement each other. Um, that we definitely, we bring each other happiness. Um, but happiness is circumstantial. I'm not always happy with Lani, uh, especially when we're playing board games. I tend to get a little bit grumpy. Um, you know what I mean? But joy is from God and joy can always fill us and always build us up. We hope that this has blessed you in some way. Um, that there's something that you can take away from this that you can be encouraged. And yeah, just thank you so much for watching mm. our second video. It means a lot. Yeah. Uh, make sure you like um, and subscribe mm. um, and comment if there's a topic you want us to cover or if there's something about our story that you want to know more yeah. about. Uh, make sure you comment. Um, but yeah, subscribe so that you can get all our updates and our next videos coming up. So we can't wait to see you next time. Um, have an, a blessed week. Bye. Bye.